Namaste beautiful yogis, welcome to Ali Kamanova Yoga. I'm Ali and today we are doing a class called The Dreamer. And this is going to be a class highly requested, another dancey vinyasa flow in which we're going to focus on a mudra and an intention that allows us to bring into fruition, to manifest our deepest dreams, wishes, desires, to bring into the material our visions. So, are you ready to get your 15 minutes? When your dreams come true And you got 15 minutes When your dreams spare. come true And you're living your life without a care When your dreams come true Starting at the front and we're going to be listening to Free Falling. Johnny has been obsessing for a full day over this song, so maybe he's bringing into fruition Tom Petty's desire for this song to be redone. Free Falling. So begin by standing tall and just moving to the music. Allow the music to come into your cells. Allow yourself to feel the music and just move side to side. Circular movements with the hips. Let's bring the hands over the heart and now open and bring them back in. Open, in, open, in, open, in, open, in, open, in. Open in. You can shift and reverse the hip movement. So, first leading with the right, now leading with the opposing hip, the one that you prefer less. Now, we're going to bring the index and the middle finger and touch them to the thumb and Fold the ring and the pinky in and hold this mudra, Kubera mudra, which is said to bring all our deepest wishes and visions into fruition, into the material world, bringing from the astral into the material, so linking the world, so manifesting mudra. As you're moving here, feel within your cells, within your body, something, think about something that you really, really want to manifest, bring into the world. And contemplate that. Bring it into your mind's eye. Here we're going to shift the weight onto the right leg and begin to open the left out. And step it across and open. Hold your mudra and feel free to continue with the mudra at some point during the rest of your day. If you have a really strong desire, if you're a big dreamer, Opposite side, we're going to start with the cross lunge. One more. And now just the opening of the leg. One, two, three, four, five. And we're going to walk to the back. And squat a little and walk to the front. A little lower. And squat a little lower and walk. We're still gonna get a workout. To the front. Shift the weight onto the right leg. Take warrior three, standing on the right leg. Warrior one. And 
breathe here. Warrior three. Level the hips. Warrior one. So again, the pinky and the ring finger are folded, touching the palm and the middle and the index are touching, the tips of them are touching the thumb. It's a very comfortable motor for holding. And warrior three. One more warrior one. Let's bring the shoulders. Step to the front, shift on to the left, warrior three, level the hips, warrior one, square the hips, warrior three, warrior one, Level and feel your core. This chakra, this mudra balances the sacral chakra where we put our intentions, our will flows. And variety. Warrior one, shoulders. Straighten the lead knee, open the legs, take the long side of the mat, plie. And here just begin to move and then deepen it a little. A little more and we're gonna walk to the front to the one edge of the mat and to the back try to use the music use the rhythm it will infuse you with energy and Continue back and forth walking. This is a wonderful mudra for aligning the micro and the micro, micro and macrocosms, bringing them into balance, bringing the, the ideas, the dreams into reality. Are you feeling this? <laughs> All right, so change the step. Take it on the outsides of the mat. Twist a little, twist, 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 twist. twist. Great. Come back to the center. Straighten the legs. You can let go of your mudra. And do a few circles with the hands. Side to side, shift, 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 shift. And here you're gonna lower the knee down, right knee down a few stacked lunges. I call them stacked because we're stacking our joints. We're keeping the front knee back. That will be wide lunge and that will be stacked. So still keeping the front knee in front. 
All right, moving on, pivoting on the balls of the feet, opposite side. You can bring one hand over the solar plexus and one over the heart. Let's go again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, and opposite side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Back to the front. Hold it. Step it to the front. Opening the knee out and lifting the foot. Step it back. Three. Four. Engage the core. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten, and just spin your arms a little bit. Before we go over to the opposite side. Opposite side. Right leg extending. Step it back, hold it. Hand over the heart, hand over the solar plexus. Bringing these two energies in harmony. Let's go. Two. Engage the core. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Be expressive, be you. Last one, and again, just move. Feel like you're lubricating your joints. Smile. All right, let's step side to side. Side sweep, sweep the hands, sweep. Lead with your hips. Sweep. Sweep, sweep, sweep. So now let's take the sweeping at heart, solar plexus, this level. So we're not letting the hands to, to drop. Just feel the movement in your body, make it your own. Time for hip figure eight. So you're drawing figure eights with the hip bones. Lift one side toe, lift, pop the hip, drop it. Lift, drop it. Lift, drop it. Reverse it. All right. Left leg to the front, high lunge. Hands again in that alignment. Heart solar plexus, lift the heel. One, two, three, four, five, shift. One, two, three, four, five. And back to center, big breath. Seal it over the heart. Big breath. As if you're feeling the energy of the universe. Bring it over the heart. And bring it over the heart. And for the rest of the day, feel free to come back to your mudra. Come back to this mudra and meditate, focus on, the, on your dreams, on the things you want to fulfill to bring into the world, 
to manifest in the world, to bring from the astral into the material and to, thus to make your dreams come true. And with that we conclude this dreamer session, the dreamer class. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you tomorrow again with another class. Thank you all for joining me for this entire challenge and for this class. I'm sending you my love and I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste. And I'm free.